My name is Jacqueline Peterson and I am a Vice President for Student Affairs at a college in New England, a Jesuit college uh, known as the College of the Holy Cross. The test revealed that I was both uh, estrogen negative, receptor negative, progesterone receptor negative, and HER2 negative. And thus, when you put all of that together, it equals this thing called triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative bre breast cancer is clearly among the rarer forms of all the breast cancers for women out there. It affects about 10%, it represents about 10% of the breast cancers. If you are African American, premenopausal, Latino or Caribbean, you have a greater chance of um, having triple negative should you develop breast cancer. So for all of the women who are African American, for example, that have developed breast cancer, they can pretty much say that 20 to 40 percent of those um, diagnoses will be triple negative. I think when we talk about what makes it different, it has a lot to do with the treatment and then the follow-up after the treatment. Um, first of all, they have not determined any particular ho hormone treatment as of yet that will be able to either um, prevent or, excuse me, s slow down or eliminate you know, uh, triple negative. So when you are diagnosed with that, the treatment pretty much exists of what I call the trifecta. <laughs> and the trifecta is um, surgery, whether it's lumpectomy or mastectomy, um, chem chemotherapy, and radiation. And then once you have gone through that um, series of treatment, there is no medication right now for triple negative that can be taken after while you're going through to really lessen the chances of re reoccurrence. So for example, tamoxifen might be used in some cases. Well, tamoxifen has no effect on triple negative. The recurrent rate can tend to be typically higher than that for other types of breast cancers. So how about being hit with all of that at once? I mean, just enough to deal with breast cancer from an individual who's a healthy person, you know, who, who watches a diet, my diet, who um, exercises regularly, um, you know, who has no history of uh, breast cancer in the family. It's like, where is this coming from? So it was very, um, uh, <laughs> uh, just uh, unreal, a very surreal experience, actually, to, to hit, be hit with that and go through that.